in a first of a kind video we have reached a location in mumbai that has been quite in talks recently with the one for whom mumbaikers have been waiting for years long you're looking at the first train set of mumbai metro line 3 with a total of 8 coaches, trains on Line 3 have the most number of coaches on the entire Mumbai metro network. Line 1 has 4 coaches and Line 2 and 7 have 6 coach rack respectively. We would be among the first trail fans to officially review the train, bring you a walkthrough, a VR tour and much more. And not just this, there will be many upcoming videos about the ambitious project that will be changing the way Mumbai cars travel in southern and western Mumbai forever. तर मुंबई करांचा उज्वल भविष्या साथी Metro Line 3 Connecting the Unconnected The first train set of much awaited and most controversial Metro Line arrived in Mumbai on 2nd August 2022. Manufactured by Alstom Transportation at their plant in Sri City in Andhra Pradesh, these 8 coach trains are completely made in India and have a capability to be upgraded to 10 coaches when demand increases. All 8 coaches would be internally connected through the vestibule passages. While these trains would be manned by train drivers or metro pilot during the initial phase of operation, Mumbai Metro 3 is designed to go completely driverless in the future. To enable this, Mumbai Metro 3 team intends to implement something known as Communication Based Train Control or the CBTC. We will talk in depth about CBTC in a dedicated video. The key takeaway from the implementation of CBTC is that the passengers can have a unique view of journey and enjoy the ride as the train transverses deep underneath the busting metropolis city. Running 33 km fully underground, only the depot would be at ground level. That's located besides the Jogeshwari Vikrori Link Road or the JVLR near Seeps in Andheri East. This is where they would be maintained on a daily basis and undergo regular upkeep. This metro line falls under the jurisdiction of Mumbai Metro Rail Corporation or MMRC. Unlike all the other metro corridors in Mumbai that are currently under MMRDA. Starting from seeps in Andheri and terminating the run at the extreme south of the city that's Kaf Parade in Kolaba. This line is also tagged as the Aqua Line, which is evidently stated by the aquamarine color theme of the train set itself and all the elements inside. The stations of Line 3 will have a completely isolated full-size platform screen doors for increased safety of the passenger. So maybe people might not be able to see the train face to face. But no worries, we have got you covered with our exclusive review and upcoming videos of Line 3 on our YouTube channel that you should totally subscribe so you don't miss the coverage. This infrastructure would be first underground rail network of Mumbai, meaning people of Mumbai will be witnessing an entire new way to travel across the city away from the hectic rush. No potholes, no traffic, no signals, just seamless travel under the city. And being an engineering marvel in itself, no part of tunnel on the entire corridor has seen even a drop of rain in spite being in a city infamous for getting flooded every monsoon. A total of 31 train sets are expected to run on this corridor in its full glory, of which one is already here and being tested right now. Although the train is almost ready to serve enormous population of Mumbai city, it has to rest on open tracks facing raw heat, rains and unfair weather because of the fact that their home or the metro depot has been delayed due to many unnecessary controversies caused over overhyped environmental concern led by the people who most probably aren't remotely close of being the part of millions whose lives are going to be changed by this corridor. Well, that's a topic for another dedicated video altogether on the RA car shed. Let's now experience the ride of this epic corridor. You can see how the stations would look from driver's cabin as well as from the passenger's perspective. In our upcoming videos, we will show you how the train looks from the stations having the PSD. The train is equipped with various amenities to maximize the comfort while you are cruising below the city rush. 
With safety and security in mind, each coach contains a CCTV camera and an emergency talkback system monitored by the Metro Pilot initially or the control room after becoming fully driverless. There is an exclusive VR tour of this train for the Mumbaikers and all my viewers to experience the Metro Line 3 train way before it is open for public. Speaking of opening, the first phase is expected to open from RA to BKC in the second half of the year 2023 and the next phase would be completing the project up to Kolaba by mid of 2024. Of course, if everything goes as planned. But not to worry, until it's open for public, we will have multiple videos offering an exclusive experience for you on how it would feel to travel in the Mumbai Metro Line 3. Mumbai and Mumbaikas deserve a seamless, safe and comfortable way to travel in the city like those in Delhi and other cities. Trains have always been the eternal part of Mumbaikas life and now MMRC and MMRDA are on a mission to make travel comfortable and give Mumbaikas the life they deserve. This video series will always try to convey you the correct and verified knowledge about how important is the Line 3 to Mumbaikers. Obviously through a perspective of a daily passenger of Mumbai local. My target is to demystify the controversies created by some anti-social elements causing unwanted delay to an ambitious project like this. And I'm happy that we are allowed and encouraged to achieve our target by Team MMRCL, a corporation led by the lady with the iron fist, Mrs. Ashwini Bhide. Stay tuned for more upcoming videos on Metro Line 3 and other infra projects as well. Also, for more informative content about railways in India. See you all in the next video. Jai Hind, Jai Maharashtra.